Hi, welcome back. Just want to take a few moments to discuss the Tesla and the Apple split, share split, which last week effectively made the shares for both those huge companies more affordable and generated interest. So what we did see on the Monday, on the split, the Tuesday, the Wednesday, Thursday, the demand was up and it was obviously over-purchased. Then on the Friday, people realized that it was overvalued and the price started coming down. Then we had the Labor Day holiday. So we did have a, uh, a bit of a stall. If we had to come back on Monday instead of that third day, there probably would have been a little bit less of a drop, but because there was that extra day, uh, we saw an initial continuation of the share price fall. We did see a, a quick rise, a bounce, but it did then keep uh, going down. And what we saw with Tesla uh, as of today, which is uh, Wednesday, it's down uh, in Australia. So Tuesday, the, the close of Tuesday in uh, the US, uh, it's down about 15%. Uh, it's going to uh, probably stabilize. What we're going to do later to at night, it's at 9.30 here, you can see uh, in the next two or three hours I'll be on uh, my app here, my mobile app, which I suggest everybody needs to learn how to use uh, this, the platforms. It doesn't matter which one, find out what works for you, whether you want to day trade, swing trade or just invest some money, whether it's cryptocurrency, commodities or shares. Like I said, I've got Apple, Tesla here, Alphabet and the US Tech 100. You can see uh, a second by second movement of the price and during when the US market is open, we see uh, a, a bit more volatile. So we see bigger swings, faster swings and the opportunity to get in and get out quickly to make some money. So with Apple and Tesla, it's a bit tricky because if you're looking at long term, well, you already lost when we had the drop in March, it did climb up again, but it's got down at the moment. So everyone's trying to predict what the story will be. Will it go up in the next few more days or will it continue to fall? I believe it will stabilize over the next few days. So if you're looking at long term, it's not too bad to put your money in as a swing trader. And what I'll be doing later tonight is looking for the uh, the swings. You know, it, there's a good chance it will continue to fall, probably another two, three percent, but then it will go up. Uh, and by the end of the day, I think we will have a, a, a stabilized price. Apple, I'm expecting to go up a little bit more. You have to understand that Apple really has uh, a monopoly over mobile phone technology. Sure, they've got uh, other competitors, but with the, uh, the iTunes, the iPad, the iPhone, the iWatch, you really have, they really have the market sewn up. So they're going to continue to grow. They, they have the best software and they have the, uh, all the uh, software developers locked into this 30% contract. So believe me, Apple will be making a fortune uh, as opposed to Tesla who are making money, but are right now doing what Amazon is doing is investing all their money back into the company, which is great to build your company up. Uh, Apple doesn't need to do that anymore. They're cashed up with billions and billions and they're developing other things constantly and improving things. So their share price, their iTunes, their, uh, Everything they sell through their their online, you can't you can't make money fast enough. The the music industry was pretty much decimated when iTunes took over, and and it allowed Apple to make a fortune by basically controlling a huge slice of the uh, the world's music industry. So watch Apple; there'll be a rise um, long term. Definitely put some money into Apple now that the price is lower. It will definitely continue to rise over the next few months and years. Tesla watch, uh, Alphabet, again, Google, that whenever you can make money just selling software online, downloading, you are in front of the of the ball game. You have no retail stores. You don't have to carry stock. It's all digital. Uh, and so they're, 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 that's why they're the big, you know, big tech companies are pushing this US tech 100. And it's up currently, even though it did fall on the last few days, it's up. Uh, there we go, 1.5%. And that, I believe, will continue to rise since we had the big drop after the initial rise from the split. And uh, the tech companies are a different uh, beast compared to making, manufacturing, uh, finance uh, industries. When you are talking tech, especially now in this uh, Challenging times, we know we're talking about uh, the medical companies, we're talking about treatments, hygiene, uh, tracing, tracking. So the tech companies are really uh, 
putting and investing all their money and time into saving humanity, which is more important than ever before. So we're not putting the money into warfare, improving as like we were before, guns, missiles, hand grenades, armor, we're armor plating, uh, battleships. The money's there, it's getting spent. <clears throat> but the tech companies are all trying to combat this current challenge that we're facing in 2020. And I believe that that's gonna push the value of the, the, the US tech 100 or the NASDAQ up. So learn how to use your app. That way you can be monitoring the market anywhere, anytime, in your car, uh, when you're in bed, uh, on the way to work, traveling on the train, on the bus, sitting in the park. It's great to have a laptop. And if you're all set up to carry that around, great. But I can I find that these days now that the apps are available and uh, they're user friendly, obviously you could always buy and use uh, the platforms, the, the, the computer platforms, but it was a bit fiddly. But the, the phone technology is, in, is very clever, especially just, you know, touch and touch this, touch that. There's no big deal uh, with touch screens, but having it now all user friendly, it's a setup like this really is the key to taking control of your own financial destiny. Start learning how to uh, use all the tools, learn how to read the positions and uh, learn how to adjust your your uh, your tracking, That what you see there right now, that blue line, you can adjust that right now. It's in uh, every second, it's giving me a reading. I can adjust that for a minute, for five minutes, uh, for an hour, for a day. So I can see the uh, the general flow of any share price and that can give me a guide as to how it's been uh, tracking over the past few days, the past few months. And as a swing trader, as a day trader, I'm looking at what's gonna to happen today. So I constantly watch during the day, I constantly look, uh, read the, the articles and listen to the news to find out what's new in any uh, tech company. It just lets me know that there's a chance of something good or bad happening. And these days you can either buy when you think it's going to go up or you can sell when you think the price is going to go down. So ride, uh, watch your swings and learn to, uh, to buy in or sell out at the right time and you'll be making money online very fast, very easily. If you're making 10, 15, $20 an hour, you can easily be making $200 uh, a, a day just trading on your phone, doing it as a second job. So if you have a job or if you're uh, unemployed right now because of the, the challenging situation we're in, what better time to take $1,000 or $2,000, invest, learn how to use the platforms. Doesn't matter which one, find out what works for you, find out what your long-term goals are, learn how to use the platforms. Your mind will start thinking in the process needed to invest on your uh, mobile app and very soon you'll be making money. Thanks for watching, bye for now.